Welcome to the, uh, the, the Donnie and uh, Micah show. Um, but little known fact, this has been an idea brewing in the back of our minds for at least an hour. Yes, maybe two, honestly. Like, think about it for a while, yeah. 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 You know, we're really excited to share it with uh, this large audience that we have. Um, and if you really think it could really change the way you think about comedy. Because me and Micah, as you may or may not know, enjoy some goofs and gaffs. We're, we're oh, a fan of, of the comedy legends. Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, yes. Um... Jimmy, um, uh, also known as uh, It Is Wednesday, My Dudes. D's Nuts Man. Uh, and then just Jimmy Fallon and all the other late night hosts that just do a phenomenal job. Legends, all. Um, I, but none will surpass the writers of The Office. Oh, so, yes. So we have to ask ourselves, what, what does comedy mean in a, in a post-office world? And, and, you know, this is really what we think uh, is the comedy that is needed in today's age and we think fits with this world. Um, because that's what it's all about. Yeah, really. A product that not only engages you comedically, but engages you intellectually. Yeah, and civically. Spiritually. Civically. Civically. Yeah. Civically. And culturally. Culturally. Yeah. As proven... When Hillary Clinton took the stage and asked, why aren't we Pokemon going to the polls? It's an absolute fantastic quote that had me thinking for weeks. And Why uh, aren't we? And, do you and, know? No, I don't, I don't know. And it inspired me um, in future films such as Low Budget Dark Knight, uh, which was a great one for both Donovan mm. and I. Yes. Yes. I... But clearly, you were the more important of the two filmmakers. Oh, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to prescribe. I mean, I was part of the the title card, you know. And the, you were the only one that needed to be on, say, a poster for the spring celebration of the arts created by Miss Daly. <laughs> that left out three of our group members. But you deserved that. Oh, thank you. Completely. I, you know, I worked really hard on it. You did. You did. And I did make a pretty nice Joker, but. Your Batman you was spectacular, especially the costume. The costume just blew me away. Blew me away. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, some people question, why only use one camera angle for The Dark Knight? And, um, well, we started out with two. We started off with two. We realized... Maybe even three. But we realized that showing too much of Batman, yeah. it, it's just a mistake. Took away. It he, takes... We, Away from his mystique. Yeah, yeah. We, were ta- we were taking uh, the Batman in a more mysterious light uh, than previously. He, see, he was not the focus of this. This was more on the Joker, partially probably why I was, you know, the, the one named for it. Yes. Um, but we wanted him to be more mysterious. And we felt that, you know, leaving him in the dark, you know, it added to the film um, and created a better experience for the audience um, that they hadn't felt before. And the previous rendition. So. And that's something we really learned from. Some people say we peaked with that, but I don't think so. I no. think we took that idea of subverting your expectations, of subverting what you think we were going to do, and we translated it into the greatest comedy show that Film One has ever known and will oh. ever known. Undubitably. Indubitably. One of those two. Either way, it's funny. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very funny work. Non-dubitably. Non-dubitably? Oh, possibly. Possibly dubitably, I mm-hmm. think, might be the answer. But uh, without further ado, um, we're going to go into now the first of two quick films and skits we have for you. So, thank you for joining, and please enjoy. lady she comes in here and she's going detective detective you gotta help me out I think my husband's cheating on me and I said well honey I already got the answer for you right there you look at my horse Jimmy I got tied up right back get up to me come on boy come on you fat little bitch 
Come on, boy. Come on. Now, uh, you're welcome. That'll be six fifty. Needless to say, she took a business elsewhere. But she really did look like Jimmy. And the resemblance was uncanny, I swear by God. So this other lady comes in, and of course, it's about her husband again. And she says, Detective, I want you to get a picture of it. And I said, Honey, I can already draw pretty well. I, I've seen what a man and a woman doing that kind of thing looks like. I could easily draw for it and save us all the time. Once again, uh, it seems I may have lost another customer. So I'm sitting on the bar. It's a typical Wednesday night. I'm drowning away myself in drink, as I normally do. But then I see the prettiest little Southern Belle I have ever laid my eyes upon. I mean, who boy this girl? And she's looking right at me. And you know, I'm I'm, sti I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? So I'm sh I'm straightening out my shirt, and she comes walking over, come walking over, and she starts talking to the feller next to me. So I took out my six shooter and I said. Boom! That's another mystery solved! Oh lord, I have a special place in hell reserved for me. That was, uh, Detective, uh, B.B. Marshall, and, um, we, we, with that film, we were really, really wanted to um, emphasize Marshall's really comedic abilities. Um, and I think we did that pretty well. You know, this was an idea that we bounced around a couple times, you know, it changed up the ideas a little bit. But we definitely knew we wanted uh, Marshall in some sort of Western idea. That raw manliness that just comes out of his Texan background. And he's got that great comedic timing. And so many people haven't realized his comedic timing. So we thought that, you know, a Western detective really fit his character and his person really well. So that's what we decided to do. When you think of the big names acting in this class, Luca, uh, Micah, um, people that have had a role in almost every film produced within uh, film one, they're good. But they don't realize the real cadence, the real tempo of jokes like Marshall does. And we think with just the, uh, you know, the different, the few stories he tells and, um, you know, the cuts to uh, some of the things that happen during it, they really add to it and um, make it more than just, you know, a sit down with Marshall, which is nice and all. But, you know, the added parts really create this uh, comedic film that really just gives the audience uh, something entertaining to watch. Um, as well as listen to. Um, so with so with that first film that we showed you, it just it really wanted to pique your interest and get you back uh, for another another great show that we have coming up next. Um, so stay tuned and watch that. So here we go. It's Micah. Shit, I don't want to hang out. Hey, man. Hey, um, what's up? Uh, well, I was thinking, since my plans fell through, you know, maybe we could go out and get something to eat. Or something, I don't know. Well, I would love to. But, um, I've got stuff to do. Stuff? Uh, yeah, stuff. I've, um... I gotta go to the dog park. You don't have a dog. Well, I gotta meet up with some friends. Like Matt and Fabio? I mean, I'll hang out with them. Uh, not Matt and Fabio, it's, um, you wouldn't know them. Really? And just who are these mysterious figures that I don't know? Uh... Uh, they're the dogs. The dogs? Yeah, the dogs. That's slang, man. Are you slanging me, bro? 
Cause I don't, I don't take kindly to slang. All right, so you better not be slanging. No, 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 no. I, I mean it, man. I mean it. I'm not slanging anything your way. I'm just going to the dog park to meet the dogs that are my friends, like I said. So were these the dogs of your friends? No, they are the dogs that are my friends. Dogs. 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 Yeah. Man's best friend, my best friend. Are you being sarcastic with me? Not even, man. Not even. Do you go out with these dogs? What does it matter what I do with these dogs? All right, I'm just trying to establish if you're telling me a tall tale here. I don't know you that well. And if you're telling me that you're going to hang out with dogs at a park or whatever, um, you know, that's, that's pretty suspicious. I don't, I don't quite understand that. What, just because I'm friends with dogs? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude. Dude, I'm just trying to make sure that nothing weird is happening here. That means that I have to know exactly what your relationship with the dogs is here. Told you! I told you, we are friends. We're friends. Mm-hmm. Well, most decent folks don't mess around with no dogs. You don't have friends? You don't have any friends? Bummers, man. Well, how do you communicate with the dogs? I... I admit, it's difficult. But we've got a system. System? Yeah, based on smell. Smell? Yeah, every day, we meet up at the same smelly spot of the park. You know, we play around, have a good time, and we part ways. Uh-huh. And do these dogs have owners? I mean... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't ask those kind of questions. I'm not that kind of person. What, what does it matter to me? Uh, well, maybe they have callers? Yes. So then they have owners? I mean, that's an assumption. I always assumed it was just kind of like a fashion thing. So how old are these dogs? Uh, you know, man, you're asking some really hard questions, and I gotta say, I, I don't really know. I mean, with dog ears being how they are and, and all, it, it, it gets really messy. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't really believe a single thing you just said. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm just gonna let it be, okay? So, you know, it seems like you just don't wanna hang, all right? It's fine. I'm just gonna let it go, all right? Fine. Oh, it, it, thanks, man. That that means a lot. Just one more question, okay? What are their names? Um. Uh, I, I I don't know. So you mean to tell me that these dogs are man's best friend, your best friend? You don't even know their names. You know what? I'm done. Friendship over. Now, you just witnessed the dogs that are my friends. And I have to say, it was a wild ride filming that. You, you see, you know, different sides of our characters. You know, most of you know that Donald and I are pretty close. And, you know, to see that tension between us, I feel it really pushes our acting abilities to the limits. Um, and it, it shows not only our directorial uh, skills and filmmaking abilities, but also our acting as well. To be able to, you know, push through our friendship to really give the audience something that they weren't expecting and weren't looking for um, in the first place. We really wanted to get in to how friends work because that's what it's all about, friendship. Friendship and family. That's what everything comes back to, everything that matters. And we want to matter. So we realized a lot of times you get calls from friends and it's like, do I really, do I really want to talk to them? No, hell no. But 
They're my friend, so I have to. So, you know, Micah calls me, and me, my character, but me, says, you know, I'm going to a dog park. And the dog park, it, it's, it's more than just a dog park. And that, really. Um, this is a friendship that, you know, it goes throughout, and, you know, you really think about. And it makes you wonder, you know, about your own personal... And that's really profound emotion. I mean, it really visceral. It really shows how PlayStation can bring out the worst in us. And I think it highlights that element of transparency that having the camera in close-up the whole time really shares. And that's, that's what we want here with uh, the Donnie and Micah show. We don't want this to just be, you know, about simple things um, that, you know, you're like, oh, that's just abstract. There's nothing to do with me. No, this is down to earth. This is something that you yourself, well, getting a laugh out of. You're also learning something about uh, the world, um, your community, and really everything uh, that there is. So I feel like this is definitely one of our more profound um, films that we've ever made before, and I'm quite proud of it. So, we'd like to thank you for watching this first installment of yeah. the Donnie and Micah show. It's really been a journey. And I was, I was a little frightened when we started working yeah, me on too. this. I realized that we couldn't just go to Matt and ask him to look at all of our camera angles before we made the film. Yeah. And I was like, how do you even make films without doing that? But as we started, I realized I can, I can think on my own, and I can... I can make films without relying solely on my betters. Yeah. And it's really been a growth. Yeah, grown For experience. not just me, but I feel like for our, our whole crew. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, yeah. And speaking of growth, um, if you take a step back from the films themselves, but the planning that goes into it, um, for example, like the storyboards and the scripts. The scripts, totally. Yeah, which I think we have improved, especially um, this film. I think we had our best um, scripts and storyboards. Best, most concise, and oh. most creative. And most easily understood, um, for sure. Mm -hmm. And that really helped uh, to, make, to make this final uh, film here just way better than all the rest. Planning is the most important part of any film. And it, it took a while to realize that, but yeah. we did it in a timely manner. Mm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there have been some comments about, like, Daily's camera quality, but I have to say, having worked with it for this film, not don't, that. Don't. that. We, we, used, we used my camera. What do you mean we used your camera? That, that's my camera. It's not Daily's. Well, at least we're using our mic, right? No, no this is, that, that's my mic, too. Well, at least we're using her, her new tripods, right? No, no heavy, it's, it's, it's my, not my the tripod. Heavy, it's not the heavy-duty tripod? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's my tripod, Donovan. Uh... Uh... <laughs> That boomstick held the oh, camera. It really so helped well. us. The, 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 help, help the microphone. Oh, the, oh my! Oh my God! Duh. Oh. The, the, the boomstick. The that, boomstick held held the mic very well. It, extremely well, and extremely it really well. it really helped the film a lot. Um, uh, I, well, I think that's I, all I the time we have. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the first installment in the Donnie and Micah show, and uh, um, uh, till next time, yeah. Donnie and Micah. Peace. Signing out. Peace out.